Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Daniel and we have Cosmo and Vector. It's been a while since I did a video of both of them playing at the same time with their cubes. So we're going to spend 10 minutes and see what happens. But before we do so, I just want to mention a couple of things, like some of you may not be familiar with Cosmo and Vector. So a couple of things first, and then we'll have our two side cameras here to look at the uh, action. Um, so Vector needs a cloud server to function. So it needs to be connected to the internet. And if you don't know, uh, because Enki went out of business two years ago, you have to pay a membership now to a new company, DDL, for Vector to operate fully. For Cosmo, he doesn't need to be connected to the web. He needs an app that is different. So the app must be running on a phone or a tablet for Cosmo to move around and play with the cubes. He comes with three cubes, Vector only one. That gives a lot more um, amusement or flexibility for Cosmo to play because he can build a pyramid, for example. He can stack cubes and uh, Vector only has one. So it's, he's more limited for like playing around. Actually, I'm going to put on purpose one cube upside down and you'll see what's going to happen. The neat thing with Cosmo is that when he sees a cube, you will see the cube will turn blue. They're all LEDs and the cube will turn blue. When the cube turns from blue, from, sorry, from blue to green, it means that Cosmo is going to interact with the cube, which is very good because you have an indication of what's happening. Plus, you see it on the app. Same with Vector. You can have the app to see what's happening, but the cubes... The cube, there is only one, will flash and it's not clear. You don't know if it's because Vector saw it or if it's, if it's because he's going to interact with it. Because we have two different colors with Cosmo, it is a bit uh, easier. Also, they have sensors, so they do not fall off the table. And one thing, in case you did not know, Cosmo only sensors in the front. So if he backs up, he's going to fall. Vector... Uh, sensors in the front and the back but if you have a table with a tablecloth because the edges are not well defined right it's a bit rounded especially if your tablecloth is uh, thick then they may fall so you have to be careful and I've said that before um, I would put I would make sure there is a carpet around the table and not a hard floor because you, you would damage probably your Cosmo or uh, Vector. Now when they move around you will see that sometimes they stop and they look up. There is a reason for that and it's not because they're not active. Most of the time they explore but when they look up it's because they're looking for a face and they are actually they have limited AI but they have such an AI that they can see if it is an animal typically a cat or a dog or a human being and if your picture is in the database, Cosmo or Vector will say your name. Sometimes, and actually often, when I do a video, Vector will say Daniel. Um, so much time exploring. Uh, they look up for faces. Sometimes they want a fist bump, so they will raise their lift. That's when they want a fist bump. And uh, one thing I want to say is that sometimes Cosmo will stop and he will start to sing a song. <laughs> this is... This is actually very funny. Um, Vector is more like an assistant, but in terms of fun, in my opinion, Cosmo is a lot of fun. And I invite you to look at my playlist because I have a lot of videos. I think I have more than 70 videos on Cosmo. And there is one that is Laser Chaser. With a laser pointer, Cosmo, uh, his camera is good enough that he's able to follow the laser. On the floor or on the table so I did the video with our cat <laughs> when she was young and it's it's fun to see that uh, Vivian that's the name of the cat Vivian is chasing the red dot and Cosmo is chasing the red dot but the cat is afraid of Cosmo so she stays away <laughs> sometimes she goes closer so it is a funny video so I invite you to have a look at that okay so now our 10 minutes I'll come back at the end just to conclude on what we saw and remember about the cube colors, this one is upside down 
and we will see what happens.
All right, we'll stop here. And uh, we're having uh, Vector giving a low battery uh, warning signal, as you can see here. And the Cosmo gave us a song at the end. So I'm going to uh, put Vector to sleep. He needs a charge anyway. And for Cosmo, who is still playing, and I need to tell you something about Cosmo. I need to go <clears throat> to settings and then sleep, Cosmo. And then sleep. And we can hear him. He's going to snore. You hear that? So guys, uh, Vector, like you saw, is more of an assistant. Like, in my opinion, I would like him to explore a bit more because he was staying basically in the same area most of the time. And I did point this out before when I did uh, videos of Vector moving on a clean desk and on a messy desk. So, um, yeah, I'd like him to move a bit more. Cosmo, there is something that I tried to show you a couple of times, but there is a lot more interaction when you actually use the app because Cosmo is asking you, or is, is sending messages through the app, and he's asking you to play often or to perform something or to set up a game and you answer yes or no. So sometimes I was saying no and that's when, and that's when Cosmo was acting disappointed. So if you say yes, it will set up a, a game. I'm surprised we did not see uh, Cosmo stack the cubes he does that quite often, actually, but he didn't in, uh, in uh, this case. Uh, he also needs a tuning once in a while, so I did that. And uh, he needs to be fed also, and you do that by shaking a cube and putting the cube in front of him like uh, you saw. So, a lot of interaction with Cosmo. I would say more than with Vector, but you need the app running. So, it's, they're very different robots, uh, actually. So guys, if you have any questions about what you saw or what I said, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.